Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What's up? There's Yellow Bull. Come on in here, man. Come on in here. <laughs> Come on in here, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yellow Bull. My man, how are you doing? Listen, I'm glad you here first, man. Uh, got a four man scramble uh, on uh, Friday. Uh, played with some guys yesterday. I got one skin. The skins were worth twelve dollars. I won twelve dollars yesterday. There you go. And there we we getting better. better. We getting better. We getting better. We getting better. Close this door. Close this door. Okay. Good evening, um, everybody. We're at the Blue Table Talk of Men. This is episode 19. What men really talk about. Last week, we talked about um, why men cheat. And it led to a conversation. Okay, I cheated now. Do I deserve forgiveness? So that's why we're saying tonight, okay, I cheated. Uh, are you going to forgive me? And we're going to unpack that tonight. So I got one of my co-hosts here. Uh, they call him Goldie. Uh, but his TikTok handle is... is uh, Yellow oh, Bull. And on Wednesdays, they have Bunnit Wednesday. Is that right, uh, Goldie? Huh? Oh. You wear Bunnits on Wednesday, right? I was <laughs> Hold on. I'm not scared. I, I will show off my bonnet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. On. Come on, man. <laughs> I ain't scared. I'm not scared. He said, I might he said I'm not whole. scared. Hey, I'm man, this whole interview something. with this bonnet on my head just because. Man, do you do what you do, dog? Do what you do, dog. <laughs> let's get Rory. Let's get Rory in here. Do what you do, dog. Good evening, everybody. I feel better tonight. Uh, Tamika, I feel better tonight because uh, uh, the Cowboys won this weekend, so I feel oh. good tonight. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. Here I we feel go. good, good, good. No, y'all, y'all hold that. Just hold on one second. Come on, Rory. Okay. At least, at least the cowboy, the the quarterback looked better. Hey, I I I, I don't know what uh, you know how you know in golf terminology, Dak is pressing. Yeah, he's pressing way too hard. We them boy Tamika, cowboy fan. Oh, I love Tamiko. I love Tamiko, the cowboy oh, fan. Tomiko. What? I, right when I was starting to like you too, man. <laughs> Hey, we didn't bought. Oh, why I got on the Ram shit? That's my second favorite team. Oh Lord! So I was yeah, coming you... on here tonight. I was gonna show off my curls for the night. But, I uh, see you. Go, hold on, Goldie got me inspired. Uh oh. Do I need to get me a bunny? Hey, <laughs> hey, let's Don't make go. me get a bunny. Let's Don't make go. me get one. Right. Don't make me get one. <laughs> So, What's up, Mr. Mr. Taylor? James Taylor, Mr. James Taylor, would you would you come in tonight? I want to let's see if we can invite him. Request to come in, Mr. Taylor. We want to add him to the conversation tonight. Uh, we we've been missing each other uh, on the phone. Let's see if I can get there. We go. I'm inviting him to the table tonight. Yeah. Yes, What's up, bro? What's up, Phil? Come on All in, right. Phil. There we go. We got a full house tonight. What's going on, oh, fellas? What's up, oh, JT Junior? Listen, man, I will put my camera on, but I got to ride a little bit to the house. So if y'all don't mind me not showing my face. That's understandable. Ain't got no bonnet right now. You know? <laughs> Look like I got to get a bonnet. Look like I got to get a bonnet. Phil came in here. Let's see Phil. Let's get Phil in here. We got a full house tonight. There we go. We got a full house tonight, fellas. Let me see if I can move me over a little bit. We got a full house tonight. Wait a minute. Am I the only one with no real gray on my face? I'm feeling so proud of it. Oh, he shaved his gray off. Praise God. Thank you. I ain't by myself. Oh, my. Oh, my. Listen, boy, he looking like a fresh baby right now. All right, now. Hey, we got a full house tonight. Good evening, everybody. Last week, we talked about what men really talk about. Uh, why men cheat. We touched on that last week. It was a very powerful episode tonight. We cheated. Okay, I cheated. 
do I deserve forgiveness? And that can go both ways, but we're talking to the fellas tonight. So we got Phil, Sneaky Phil. We got Mr. James Taylor Jr. to the to the to the man table, to the blue table talk. We got Rory with the burgundy curly locks up underneath that. And we got we got Goldie. <laughs> so fellas, update us on your week. What y'all been up to? We're gonna start with Phil. Give us a rundown of your week, Phil. All right, first of all, I absolutely hate that I missed last week, guys. That was a great conversation. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, let me give everyone that's listening an update. The podcast is still coming. We just have some technical things to work out so that we're not going to bring you a half-cocked product. We want to come in as professionally looking and professionally sounding as possible. Very good. Therefore, give us some time to tweak it. Uh, Dr. Sims is working with me. Give me a chance to tweak it. It's listen, it's listen for It's steam. So give us a little bit of time to get it pristine. Get it pristine. So <laughs> I've been working that piece. Ooh, I just picked up a new job. A I, am, uh, <laughs> I am in charge of two shifts of security for a hospital. It's a big deal. I've been doing a lot of certifications. That's like my miss last week. Uh, both dealing with HIPAA, dealing with uh, how to handle uh, uh, dementia and unruly uh, patients how to deal with threats, weapons, training, a lot of things. So that's, I've been okay. really, really, really busy. Uh, so that's my rundown. I made it this week. All right. It's good to see you, man. Okay, JT, how was your week this week, JT? I think he's driving. Rory, how's your week been, man? How How's the family? The family's good. Um, I talked to my, call my dad. He's not returning the phone call, so I'm going to press him tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. But, Brother and sister are good, and uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll talk offline. But I just got some interesting news uh, today. <laughs> Very good, man. Very good, Goldie. Goldie, how you doing, man? Is he on mute? Your mic is off. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm, there we I'm go. doing well. Thank you very Thank much. You, I'm doing well. I'm healthy. I am. I am hard at work. Um, I'm, I'm just doing me. I actually picked up a golf club the other day and, um, swung it out there just to, you know, loosen up the muscles and everything. I, I figured if I can give everybody lessons, I may as well go ahead and get myself warmed back up again. Because when yeah, I meet, when I meet Dr. Well. Sims, when I see Dr. Sims and Rory, it's going to be on like popcorn. <laughs> so, let me out there real quick. I was in another live that, that, that Goldie was in. And uh, he, he, I don't know how the conversation got to it, but we came to. Uh, he said uh, he's gonna come here and and and, and uh, we're gonna play golf. I told, him, and he never responded to my response. I told him, okay, cool, I'll play, I'll play a few holes of golf with me, with you, if you go come to my arena, and spar three rounds with me. Yeah. Oh, what? No, sir. Dude, what? <laughs> no, what? sir. <laughs> No, oh no, oh no! I'm fi no. We're not sparring. Spar. I'll spell spar. it. We have a scramble. Spar. No, 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 no. Put him up. No. Put him up. We, Fight you. We gonna, Put him up. We gonna, Put him up. We gonna spar on some brisket. That's what we gonna spar on. <laughs> Come on, hey, bro. <laughs> I get a knife and a fork. I knife Boy. and fork you. <laughs> no, sir. Hey, good evening again, everybody. Y'all tap that screen. If you're not tapping, you're napping, or you taking notes. We're going to go a little deep tonight. Put your scuba gear on tonight because the other part of loving somebody is forgiveness. And, and a lot of times, people don't want to love because being vulnerable, love is being vulnerable. And you're opening yourself up to be hurt. Watch the movie last night and the charming gentleman in this horror flick. He was so charming. And he got the woman wooed in and everything. But the other part, he said, I'm scared, too. I'm scared to be hurt. But the other part of love, if you really love somebody, you got to be willing to forgive. You know, so when we mess up and Rory got a story to tell us tonight, y'all, when we mess up, do we deserve forgiveness? Oh, was that the opening for a response? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> OK, this is a deep ahead. dive. Here's a deep dive. First of all, you there's no I cheated by mistake. All right. That's just a okay. bad decision. No one falls okay. in booty by mistake. That's you so you mm. can cut that out. Okay. Right. Nobody cheats by mistake. That is something that you decided you were gonna do. 
And you, okay. in some cases, the female that may know you're married accepts it. You're both wrong. You're okay. both wrong. Now, once you get caught cheating, okay, unless you walked up and you just admitted it, honey, I was wrong. I did it, blah, blah, blah. Please forgive right. me. You lay your heart on her freaking lap and hope that she forgives you and sticks with you. Uh, but that's one thing. That's okay. when I feel you deserve forgiveness if and only if she opens up her heart and she lets you continue to be in that relationship. Now, right. if you get cold busted, that's a whole different thing because you were doing it and had no intention to stop doing it until you got caught. Now it's baby, right. baby, baby, please. And see, that's a whole different smell. <laughs> that's you a see, different scenario, right? That's a whole different smell. Now, on the other other side of that coin, not the other side of the coin, a whole different coin, if you're with a woman that you wooed who had been cheated on before, and right. now you're the dude doing it again, you got a hard road to hoe, no pun intended, because you already broke through her, Not she may not have already uh, worked through the last time she was cheated okay. on, and she, she may not... Uh, be completely over that, you know, treating the next guy like she treated the last guy, you know, that type of thing. Right. And you did it again. Oh, OK. So I to that think point, forgiveness is coming. Yeah. OK. So to that point, though, because I'm going to flip it and then we'll let Rory and Goldie chime in. I'm going to flip it sure. because I did. I just saw this for the show and it wasn't on purpose, but I, I was we flipping channels and a scene from Best Man Holiday came up and mm. and 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 um. Terrence, Terrence Howard's character was sitting across from Morris Chestnut's character. They were playing poker. And he said, now, mm. you, you, you've you been running around. So your little boo thing, turnabout is fair play, right? And Morris Chestnut mm -hmm. blew the table up. So when the table, mm -hmm. why is it easier for us to request forgiveness than it is for us to give forgiveness when we are cheated upon as men. Maybe we'll table that for a moment, but I want to hear from Rory and Goldie. Do we deserve forgiveness when we cheat? And 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 when the tables are turned, how are we to give forgiveness? Goldie, go ahead. Y'all know I like to go last. Mm. Oh, Goldie. That's that's <laughs> that is that is that's a, that's honestly a tough one. Deserving wanting i mean we can we can be real we can be real finicky with the words do we want forgiveness absolutely we always do want forgiveness unless you're just that dude that just don't give a darn and you're gonna go out there and do it there regardless and if you got that type of personality and and for everybody that that's listening don't come for me but you know that's that's it's giving Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? The, the, that you're giving that Scorpio energy when when you just like you know what? Yeah, I did it. So I mean, you wasn't here, and 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 I got. Bo if you got that kind of energy, then you know, no, you don't deserve right. any type of forgiveness. Your remorse right. level is not high. That's right. We, That's right. That's we, right. That's right. Do we want the forgiveness? I'm I'm pretty sure in order for you to go on within the relationship, you would definitely want the forgiveness because there is a level of living that you're just not going to accomplish if you don't have that forgiveness behind you. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. That's exactly so, right. So, so if, if, if you're forgiven and you're truly forgiven, it won't come up again. Right. That, that guy, yeah, forget this. Is, I mean, this, this is what a rubber meets the road. And this is why people that have been burned before, have such a hard time trusting and i'm working with clients on that piece right now whenever your trust is broken your heart is broken and you're ready to get into another relationship you have to love again and trust again to be in a healthy relationship and and love is tough love is tough i just talked to a young lady at the golf course goldie and she's moved on to another man because she said this young man got to ask her how you and your boyfriend doing she said well he wasn't who i thought he was and i think mm. that's where the danger we get in trouble when we don't show all our cards on the table. And I said Sunday, women use sex to get love. Men use love to get sex. You know what I'm saying? And so everybody needs to be as upfront as possible. What are we doing? Come on, Rory. Uh, so being uh, a cheater, <laughs> I was married twice. I was married twice. Okay. I, I can tell you which, which one I cheated on. <laughs> 
Uh, but no, in all seriousness, so uh, and I re- I'm reading through the comments. Uh, there is no justification for cheating at all. There, there really is. Uh, it's, a, it's a conscious decision to go out and, and seek out the woman you're going to be with and go be with that woman and then uh, try to come back home and ask for forgiveness and things of that nature. So real quick, I uh, I was in a relationship that was just, it was bad. It was going going south. Uh, at this point, we hadn't had intercourse in, it's been going on a year. Wow. Yeah, I wanted out. I was I was doing double shifts uh, just so I wouldn't be at home. Okay. Uh, I wanted out, and you know, being you know some of y'all church folks getting up the thing of well, you need to work it out, and 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 you need to uh stick with it and pray it out, and do this and that. We don't believe in divorce. If you get divorced, you're an infidel. Wow. Uh, you can't. You're not a real man if you get divorced. You can't take care of your family. I heard all of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I went biblical. Okay, cool. In order for me to legally get out of this marriage, I have to commit adultery. And that's wow. what I did. And that's wow. what I did. So instead wow. of me just being a man and saying, you know what? We are at a place where we're gonna we're gonna hurt each other really bad. Wow. Um, several times y'all need I, I, I need to go somewhere, y'all come get this girl, or one of us is gonna go to jail. My lord. Uh, and it was a thing of be a man, man up. You're a man. Tough it out. Okay, yeah. cool. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Okay, y'all won't let me. You're telling me I can't just file a, a divorce because you're damaging my ego for making me feel like taking a taking a higher road and just right. saying, hey, working out. Let's just get divorced, move on with our lives. Okay, cool. My simple, yeah. my simple brain says, hey, go cheat. And that way now you have an excuse to get out. Right. And I saw it somebody... Come- yeah, it was an excuse. I leaned on that excuse instead of saying I want out of this. I leaned on it to cheat, and and yeah. that's what I did. There go and and, and that's it. what you did. And 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 where I think we we all have to grow. We don't talk to each other <laughs> because, like you said, in, in in our simple minds, okay, you defaulted. Okay, let me go commit adultery that would give me out and versus just simply saying and not listening to all that chatter So listen this is not working we need to dissolve this because mm-hmm. i'm gonna tell you another secret i'm gonna tell you something else mm-hmm. god does not and has not put a lot of relationships together so you can start there if you wanted to go biblical you could have started there god does not put a lot of stuff together and man one of these reckoning days we're gonna the lord gonna be like i didn't do that I wasn't even, right. y'all didn't even act and send me an invitation to the wedding. Right. Now, I can tell but you let's why. let's look at the script. I can tell you come why. Come on, I, come on, Lord. Uh, I got married to this woman because, one, uh, I was in the military. And when you have dependents, you get paid. Right. Let's just be honest. Uh, mm. And she had, she had three children. <laughs> and, and I'm looking at that BAH. Okay, cool. Yep. I get X amount of dollars per per dependent, yep. right? Plus a five bedroom house. Come on now, all I and all I have to do is cut, keep the grass cut. Come on, man. what? Come yeah. on, so 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 right there, Let guys. Put this in your notes. Put this in your notes. Put this in your note because 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 I I, I, I and they can they'll talk to this. Hmm. Goldie, Phil, have been married to a woman that they love. So no other woman matters. Trust, trust when I say this. When a man truly loves a woman and vice versa, when you truly love somebody, when you truly are committed to somebody, and I think that's where the disconnect is. Men that the cheaters, we lack commitment, we lack discipline, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Come on, come on, mm-hmm. come on, Phil. Okay. I've been married. December the twenty eighth will be my thirty fifth anniversary. Okay. Okay. That's a blessing. I got married when I was 19 years old. That's early. And I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. And I always say this. Everything that went wrong in my marriage was my fault. I've done it. Okay. There was a comment that I heard in there that I saw someone type, have any of y'all cheated? I'm not going to say if I did or didn't, but I will say I don't speak on anything that I don't have any knowledge of. I'll just leave it like that. It is uh, a an put for honor. Me. Put for me, emotional affairs. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, Phil. It is an honor 
for my wife to be my wife. It is a blessing for my wife to be my wife. She has saved me and created such beautiful things and made our family prosperous for my wife to be my wife. But it wasn't easy. I got married of very young. Mm -hmm. And in the words of Martin Lawrence, I did some stanky shit. I did. <laughs> as a young man, as a young soldier, Back. being Back. elite, working through Army, uh, uh, Ranger, Jumpmaster, war, and all of this stuff. But it is a blessing, once again, for my wife to be my wife. She's right over there. All right? Yeah. And tell her we said, tell we said good evening. Tell Kim we said good evening. I will. This house that I am in, I'm not going to tell you how much it cost, but it was a vacant lot when I saw the lot, and it was a house she had built from the ground up by the time I got back from overseas. Okay. Yeah. I got another one around the corner that she rents out. I've gone to places and did things that you would not believe and never had to worry about my house. I never had to worry about bills being paid. I never had to worry about coming home to an empty house. I, I never even thought about what if she's cheap. Truth be told, Amen. in my lifestyle, I'm like, if I don't catch it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Come on, somebody. Come love on, somebody. Love. I used come to on. have a first horn. When we deploy, we come back from wherever we've been going for six months, three weeks, whatever, and he would say, Put a dime in the phone before you go home. That was the first song. <laughs> Let your wife know you're on your way. Phil, you so awful, you Phil. Phil, you so how did you get to that mature point, man? How did you get to that place? That's mature. And and not to say Kim has not done anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kim is that right. kind of woman, but <laughs> you <laughs> that is so funny. Hey. But how did you get to this level of maturity? Um seeing how to word it. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it this way. I've been in places and lived in holes. Live in, dig a hole and live in there for months. Mm -hmm. You appreciate walls, doors, and windows when you don't have them. Mm -hmm. what? Okay? I've been in training where you get one meal a day. Mm -hmm. You appreciate wow. food when you don't have it. Mm -hmm. I've walked until my body hurt and had to walk more and made other people do it. Mm -hmm. You appreciate being able to relax when you don't have it. Wow. That's how I got to where I am now. I appreciate the things because it can be taken away like that. Uh, I've yeah, been through yeah. a lot Say of loud. stuff. Say it loud. Say it loud. That's that's how I am this person. That's good. Rory, and thank you for your honesty tonight. Goldie, how have you how long have you been married? We got 35 years. We got a single man here. Uh, I'm in a relationship for strong years. Goldie. How long have you been married, and, and how have you stayed so disciplined? I have been married 26 years, and um, my discipline, I, 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 do, I do marriage math, okay? And, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Marriage math for me is whatever you invest in is, is how do you calculate your rate of return, okay? And I believe, I believe in investing quality quality time quality moves quality clothes quality cars quality houses i believe in quality so if i'm investing in quality i'm going to get quality yeah. in return so i married a quality woman i married someone who has no problems and look forward to being a wife and a mother i married that woman i married a woman who is a godly spiritual woman i married right. that woman I married the woman who would definitely who would definitely take the other side of me and make me a better person. Mm -hmm. What kept me disciplined is because the 80-20 rule, or hell, we'll even say the 90-10 rule. Mm -hmm. Whatever 10% she was missing, I am not going to find better than what I got right now. So you, what hey, would be the you, purpose? Come on. Come on. Come, come on, somebody. Listen, listen. And, and I hope y'all are catching this. You have to make sure that you and that person you're about to say I do with, and that's why I got a book, a pre-matter coaching workbook. You got to make sure y'all y'all right here. You know what I'm saying? Because love is a choice. Put that in your notes. Love is a choice. Okay? Nice. You choose to love. So let's flip the script. Because this we go, we're about to be showing love, go deep. Put Scooby get on and check wait, your air wait, and your tank. We're about to hold, go deep. So hold on. flip wait, wait, it. Wait, wait. Ho, ho, go ahead, on, come Jackson. on, come on, Bo Golden. Bo before you go that, I see El Boogie said, I married a robot. Let me go ahead and say this right now for the record. 
if you think that someone that is structured, if you think that someone that has a, a moral compass is a robot, then, give, then let me be Will Smith and I, robot. Give me all oh. of them. I want all of them. Ooh. If if if, if you this, think I, I'm about to channel Kevin Samuels, and 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 we may lose some followers when I do that. Kevin Samuels said, "Rest, bless, rest, rest in peace, KS." He says, "Stability, women need stability. Hmm. Is boring." Structure. Well, uh, what, what did I tell you the other day, Gold? We were talking. A good golf game, a good round of golf is boring. It's boring. Yeah. Par golf is boring. Par but, golf is boring. But but the, the hey, key word I? in your whole phrase is good. A good round of golf is boring. Good a good golf. wife, if she's boring, give me good every day. Every day. I don't have and anything we'll to complain about. We'll good me. We're good and not men. to mention, We're good I'm men. 26 years into this good marriage or married to this robot. Give mm-hmm. me that structure every day, and I got a whole. I, I got lube. I know how to keep it greased up to to make them uh, uh, to make my robot run faster. I got no problem. Go. We're good. <laughs> Hey, I want to hey, address and, and, this. And let, I'm going to write that. I'm going to write that down. May, we may deal with that next week. A boring yeah. is a good thing. Facts. Boring is a good thing. But Tony Tony Kraft. Do boss, I think, said is he asked a question, how do you repair after being broken? I'll give you two words. Okay. Honesty and effort. You gotta be honest from that point forward, both ways, nice. and you gotta give a shit. You gotta put in effort if you want to uh-huh. salvage a relationship. That's on both on both ends. And, and, and let me honesty let's give this effort. to the ladies. I'm about to flip the script real quick, but let me give this to the ladies and, and, and the men for that matter. Let me give this to you. That's why if you're out here in these dating streets and, and Rora can speak to it. And and ladies, this is just men. Blue table talk for men. We get no ladies at the table. This is this is the men time. Men, if you want to come in, ask a question, come on. But we need to sit down and really be honest with each other, just like Phil just said, and say, Hey, listen, what we what we're doing. If all we want to do is booty calls at two AM in the morning, let's bring it up front. If yeah. if you're gonna allow us to have an open relationship, let's bring it up front. Let's quit playing a game. I believe the error that we make, men and women make, is that we want a thing and call it something else. Why did the snake? Why did the farmer get mad at the snake for being bit, fall into his deathbed, and ask the snake, "Why did you bite me?" When I put you in my overall, the snake turned and looked at him, "Sir, you knew what I was when you picked me up." We try to call something that is not. That's when we get in trouble, fellas. If our person cheats on us, Mister Cheater, we're gonna throw this one to you first. Rory, have you been cheated on before? And how how do you feel? Do you are you quick? to forgive or you say deuces i'm gone so i've been che- i've just had this conversation so my girlfriend in high school uh cheated um girlfriend in college before i left, left the boot camp cheated <laughs> you know the girlfriend in the interim uh cheated i was a walking target seemed like <laughs> like cheat on this guy cheat on the good guy i i used to be the good guy i was the good guy you know what i'm saying and I started, I bought into the bull crap that nice guy finished last, so I became the bad guy for a little while. Um, but to answer your question, did I forgive? No, I was bitter. Mm. I was bitter. Then I really started coming. Once I left Marine Corps boot camp, I really started feeling myself. Okay. And I got active, if you know what I mean. Mm. So, and it was that. It would have been, it was, I became a dog. Like for real, mm. I became a dog after I left boot camp. You know what you say, boy? I don't know what an army uniform feels like, but when you put on a Marine Corps uniform and you got those blue pants that match with that khaki shirt, and then you wear that tie, you wear that. Yeah, I was doing it. I was doing mm. it. You know, yeah. uh, was I quick to forgive? No, hell no. Hell no, you hurt me. And I'm a Leo, you hurt me. So now I got to one-up you and hurt you back. And that's, that was my aim. And uh, what was the name of that movie? Two can play that game. And I believe that's where we are getting in so much trouble. Mm-hmm. We're playing game. And Air Boogie, to your point, this is why, men, we need to be straight up. If all we want is a physical relationship, let's be upfront. And I think we get in trouble when we try to mm-hmm. – 
we try to give relationship talk and we got something else on our mind. You know what I'm saying? And so we got to be on the book. But feel Goldie, if somebody does something wrong to you, are you quick to forgive? This is what, okay, you know me. I'm Mr. Transparent. If that woman, this one right here that I've been married to all these years, if she were to cheat on me, break it off and ask for forgiveness, I would. Because okay. the shit I've put her through, she what deserves you say? that. What okay. you say? Now, I said if that woman did that, that doesn't apply to anybody else. Okay, there you go. I love that woman, and that woman's mm -hmm. been through so much stuff and stuck with me. Now, if it was another woman, oh, I can't say that. Uh, she wouldn't have a chance. Well, you have she said have two weeks chance. ago, three weeks ago, you said this: her superpower is you love her. There it is. There it That's is. It. She has the advantage. She has the advantage because that's I so feel feel. I'm not gonna get mushy because I mean that is sweet, man. That's awesome. I we need to make some copies of you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil is the man. He is a uh, Goldie. So Goldie, let's let's say came in and said, uh, "Goldie, I need something to talk to you. Take your bonnet off. I got to talk to you." So what if she told you? What if she told you? Somebody that looked like Rory hollered at her at the grocery store and, and they just they exchange numbers and they talking. Well, what you gonna do? I'm a I'ma do it one better. Um this is my second marriage. Okay. Okay. This is my second marriage. My first marriage lasted 18 months. Wow. And my first marriage ended because I caught her on the hood of her car with a color dude and uh she has she has a little at that time she had a little girl so i had a blended family i'm taking on the responsibility of working i am i'm walking to work wow you know, i have just enough to pay the rent keep the lights on and a little bit of food all extracurricular activities was either playing board games or taking a walk around the apartment complex, but everything else was tied up in making sure that the household was done. Wow. When at that time, at that point, and at, at that time, she for she for she, you know, she foregone all of that. I would leave to work. I worked at a gym. I would leave out to work and someone else would be following me in, uh, or, or replacing me in the house as I'm walking out the gate. My lord. No, wow. So when I so when I come home, I got a dude who tells me he said, "Hey, bro, I don't know you from Adam, and I just want to be straight up. I see you working every day. I see you grinding every day." He said, "But I'm just letting you know right now, your girl is not right. Your girl have 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 some other dude walking there right after you leave for work." And I was like, "I appreciate, I appreciate it, but I didn't go to her with it." Okay, that day when I caught her on the hood of her car, and then I beat her home. I told okay. her uh, the very next morning. I even slept on her. Mm. The very next day, I told her. I said, "I got." And I, oh, that was the other thing. I took photos of her so she couldn't deny it. Couldn't couldn't lie way out of that one. At that time, there was no digital. Okay, there was no digital, so I had to take the pictures, run to Walgreens, twenty four hour developing, get them. Oh, I remember that. And and beat her home. So by the time I got home. I was already in the bed with pictures ready. Next day, I asked her, "What? where were you? What were you doing? Oh, I was just out with my girls and this, that, and the other. I said, well, does this look like a girl to you? And, my and Lord. Her comeback mm -hmm. to me was, why are you taking, why are you taking pictures of me? Why? Mm -hmm. oh, my that's, Lord. Your, that's your excuse? I told so that, your that, mother. That said everything. She I, said everything that's you all needed, I needed to, hear. to know. So I told your mother when when I packed you up from Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. and brought you to Houston, Texas. I told your mom I would never lay a hand on you, but I would ship your ass UPS straight first class right back home. And that and that that day, I said you have approximately one hour to gather everything that you bought that you bought mm -hmm. and put it in a suitcase. Get your daughter and meet me at the car. I drove her straight to the bus station, not a plane wow. ticket. I told her to get on the bus. And when I put her on the bus, I said, when I get, when I get, the next time I get back in touch with you, there will be papers involved. So she went back to Denver 
told her story however it was, and I kept telling her people, her mom and her dad, she could tell you whatever she wants. I got pictures. Hello, hello. My hello. receipts, my receipts are CVS long. Let let us go ahead and say that. So for me, there was no asking for forgiveness. That was a one time shot. And that also propelled me to make sure that I did not do what she did to me to the one that I have now. Amen. That's good. Gotcha. Th this is why we have the blue table talk for men. That is a powerful, powerful story. Doc, That's Doc, real cool. quick, because this L Boogie, and then I, I really hate to do this, but the storm is about to come out. Uh, this come L on. Boogie is really compromising uh, for me. Uh, uh, yeah. There's a safe space for us men to be able to talk and being disrespectful uh, in, the, in, this, uh, in, this, uh, in this chat where yeah. this is really men talking. Now, ladies, I'm not I'm, be mindful when I say this. I'm not upset with you. Uh, this really is for men to be able to express themselves. We allow you in space because we want you to hear what we go through. All right. So I, I'm asking Doc if you would just go ahead. We we do so. Ball Batty is right. We do need a moderator for this space, and I believe okay. I volunteer. I volunteer. Thank you, I'll you in a heartbeat. <laughs> now uh, I'll tell you what I do. I what I do in my lives. Okay, we'll get one. We'll get one. What, we'll get one. What Hold I do on, in sir. my lives is I don't kick people out. I'll just mute. I'll mute you. Yeah. You can sit here and take that medicine or learn that lesson or decide to leave on your own. I will exactly. not kick you out, but I will okay. take your sarcasm away, and you can sit back and listen or leave if you desire. Hold so, on. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Anyway, okay. let's continue on with Got this it. adult conversation okay. so that you know, we're not going to let any <laughs> man <laughs> take away. All right, I got it. We, we, we want the women to be involved in this conversation. Uh, this is the blue table talk. You just won't get a seat at the table, so to speak. You have your yeah. red table talks. Okay, cool. And eventually we'll get into a purple table talk. Great. But right now, this right. is where this is where us men can get together and, and, and talk and be... Um, and be open and be transparent, you yeah, know, and vulnerable. I, I bear my soul. And vulnerable. And, and yeah. vulnerable. Y'all know how y'all know how I am. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. I don't care if I'm trying to get a point across. I'll I'll throw myself on the chopping block. I'll tell mm -hmm. you my experiences. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like. I will Thank say, brother, you. I love you, and I got your back. Or I'll say, brother, I think that was messed up. That's me. But let's say, and, and, and what. Is what did any, what did we say? Yeah. What did we say? Uh, Phil brought this up last week, and I think Goldie chimed in. Well, um, Goldie chimed in, and Phil said it two weeks ago. And that spirit that El Boogie has, that's what we're dealing with. Now, y'all get on to us. You get on to us for female bashing, which we have not done not one episode. And this is episode nineteen. That spirit. Is why people didn't like Kevin Samuels. And somebody said, don't bring him up in here, but he was a solid brother. Hmm. That spirit that Rory had to stop out conversation. And I was into what Goldie said. Do you know how powerful of a testimony he just laid out? Rory just laid his heart out. Phil just laid his heart out. And Rory had to stop the conversation. Phil will be a moderator. I have another moderator lined up, but my boys, I'm going to make all of them moderators. But, but we're yeah. not adding no gasoline to that okay they're 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 they they those are my those are my heavy lifters right there see i'm the gentler one but don't trust me don't try me <laughs> I live okay don't you. try me Look, don't let this <laughs> smile fool you i'll do some stinky <laughs> shit now hello uh but but goldie goldie finish finish your conversation goldie and and so yes, sir. how long after that whole scene that storm that you you met the 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 new Mrs. Yellow Bull. Okay, <laughs> that happened in May. I met Scarlett August twentieth of nineteen ninety four. Okay, I was forewarned, if you want to call it forewarning. Her good friend got married to my best friend, so I met okay. her at the at the after party. Okay. Okay. And when we met. My friends kept saying, I have a, the perfect person for you. I'm just getting out of a relationship. And I'm like, yo, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, no, no, no. I'm good. Let me just do me. Let me be me. I'm, I'm good. 
unbeknownst to me, the person that they was talking about was the person that I was dancing with at the reception. Really? Right. And they did not tell me this is her until after we got off the dance floor. And she was like, oh, yeah, this is the person I was talking about. I said, oh, OK. She lived in Florida. I lived in okay. Houston. So okay. then we had to deal with a long distance, uh, a long distance relationship. But that's going into a whole nother uh, realm of the story. But my thing was I wanted to have some time for me. And if you're a spiritual person, I would say it like this. When man plans, God laughs. Yeah. And here it is 20. Well, I've been with her for uh, going on 28 years now. So 28 years later, here I am. Here we are. So it wasn't it wasn't about my plan. It wasn't about my need and my want. It was it was having my help me come to me and Hello. recognizing mm -hmm. and recognizing that what was being presented for me was just for me. That's, that's good yeah. stuff, man. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Again, good evening, everybody. Y'all type the screen. We're up to 9,000 likes. We are doubling. Every week, we're getting a little bit more. We have over 100 people in the room. This is serious talk. You're not. We, we're not doing a whole lot of raring and tearing. We're not doing a lot of hearing and hauling and playing around. Now, we're talking golf and we talk sports. I feel so much better. My Cowboys won this weekend. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Okay? We play now. We have a good time. But this is serious yeah. talk. We need yes. to forgive. We need to heal. We are, and, and Rory said this two weeks ago. We're giving you the blueprint. Facts. We're giving the blueprint. We're giving you the blueprint. <laughs> Be willing yeah. to forgive. And, and we need a healthier relationship. And, and I guess, why aren't we talking to each other? We talk at each other. And that's what we refuse to do at the Blue Table Talk for Men. We're not bashing anybody. We don't even no. bash us too hard. We got to get our right. stuff together. Okay. But I believe we need to have a, an episode next week. We're going to talk about boring is a good thing, but we need to have a conversation. Why aren't we talking to each other? We all sit here and assume things and assume things and assume things. And we are not dialoguing. We got all of these pieces of equipment. We can we can talk on a tablet. We can talk on mm -hmm. our phone. We can talk in the car. We can Bluetooth in the car. And yet mm -hmm. we're not talking to each other. And my relationship went south. My relationship of 28 years went south. We would be in the same house mm. and not mm. say two words to each other. Mm. Same here. So I, I, I mentioned this, I think, a couple weeks back during the interview process. And I was told that they started making, not making, allowing people to do those short video interviews and submit them because people can't make eye to eye contact right. and speak professionally and mm -hmm. he was blaming a lot of a lot of it on the young men because they spend so much time online playing video games doing this doing that good hand and eye coordination but they're not interacting with people and i agree with right. you dr sims yeah. we, right now i'm talking to three of my best friends and i've never met you physically and that's all oh, over wow. the world wow wow you see what i'm Thank saying you. you see what i'm saying people text people sexed people video chat people they even got the devices for your phone i mean for your tv now uh, mm -hmm. uh, facebook we have lost the ability to have an intimate adult conversation face to face yeah well let's uh hold on let's see come on in here for a little while geo geo wants to come in and join the conversation good evening again everybody hope y'all have a good time i hope you're taking notes Hope you are taking notes. Um, Gio, he's sitting around the table with us. You got five minutes in the hot seat, Gio. Gio wanted to spend a few minutes with us. And Phil, I feel the same way about you guys. I love you guys. Uh, Golden and I said we're going to get together and play some golf and eat nice. some brisket, eat some barbecue and uh, yes. fellowship. And Rory said he'll drive us around. We already got us an Uber a driver, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And uh, I, I love you guys. And, and we need to talk to each other. We need to talk to each other. We're not yes. talking to each other. And, and this is why my job is so important as a life coach, as a pastor, as a professional speaker, as somebody that help people figure life out. Because we don't, one of the commenters said, we don't know how to talk to each other at all. We don't. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, 
relationships can be built can be built like this and i love you guys too and when i do meet you you put your hand out like that i'm looking like you're crazy because i'm gonna give you a big old hug what up <laughs> anyway but you know man i, I, I missed think... it up I, it, it's a lot of dust in the air <laughs> yeah. our, our society now technology although it brings a lot it separates us it takes a lot away you got folks talking to each other on their phones now yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and and I think that's a shame. And that, let's get back to the subject here. A lot of that stuff, you know, they got them websites. You can swipe right, swipe left if you like them, and, you know, uh, uh, if you want to screw them or kill them, that type of stuff. That has a lot to do with, you know, you see something online that entices you. Next thing you know, you send a text message, they text back. And next thing you know, you're trying to meet in some dark room in the back somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. You know yeah. Hello, and 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 uh, uh, Tomiko asked, "Wait, we we're gonna get to all of that? Do we talk to women about this?" Well, Phil is in a healthy relationship. I am. Gold is in a healthy relationship. Rory is navigating his way because you know uh, Rory is in high demand. They're about to do a whole basketball show on Rory's life. They're about <laughs> oh. to make him. A- <laughs> Come on! Man. Come on now. Uh, Amazon, on. Amazon, and Netflix call Rory. Rory texts me the other day, said Amazon, Netflix, <laughs> Roku want to do a, a series on him, an eight episode season. Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. And it's got those twenty seasons because I. <laughs> no, but so, so there, there's a there to uh, to um to pick back off of, uh what you were saying. Uh, we do talk. We do yeah. talk. A lot of times, it's it's. It's it's a thing of we'll talk and we'll pour our guts out, but are you listening? Yeah, Rory, Rory, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you this, and Rory is speaking to it, and and I'm a, I'm gonna let I'm gonna give the mic back to him. And I tell all the young ladies that I coach, men, we may not talk as much as y'all, but when we speak, you need to be listening. Mm-hmm. Come on, Rory. So and a lot of times I don't talk with words a whole lot. I'll talk with actions, or I'll, I'll use a okay or mm-hmm, or, or I use a whole lot. And so if if you know, so there's there's somebody in here that knows my Rory isms. I've been friends with her for the past. Uh, uh, been friends with her. Black Bonnie. How long have we been friends now? I'll call her name out. Come Black on. Bonnie. We've been friends for the past. I want to say we're going on 15 years. There you go. She knows my Rory-isms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is a true fan. That is a now. If And I know there are more black bodies in this world. There are women out there that actually listen to, 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 to hear. And they listen over, okay, over 15 years. Listen to understand. No, I'm a Leo all day through and through. Uh, listen to, to, to listen and listen to understand. So for the black bodies of the world that listen to understand, we appreciate you. We really do. And for those that don't listen to understand, but listen to respond, maybe you need to take a step back and check your ego a little bit. This is not coming from a place of hate. This is coming from all love. Maybe you need to step back. If you're asking me to check my ego, then I'm going to ask the same of you. Check your ego a little bit and listen to what I'm saying. Because, yes, I'm hurting. And for years upon years, if I've been told, be a man, don't be a punk. Don't be a right. sissy. Be a ho. Right. It's ingrained in me to 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 not be a punk, a sissy, you know, or what's going less of, less of a man. I've watched several comments about me and Goldie wearing our bonnets. It's, it's, I'm I'm come on now. I, I got I got my curls going on. You know, and I'm bald. I'm bald. I'm, bald. I'm, bald. I'm saying for me, it's protecting I my hair. Can I not protect my hair? You, you I don't. Listen, listen, and 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 we listen. Now let let me tell you, I'm gonna drop this nugget on you. I'm gonna drop this nugget on you. Yeah, Hearing is two dimensional. Yeah. You hear, you listen with your ears, but you hear with your heart, and that takes time. And that's why building a relationship, it takes time. And and you don't hear that on social media. It takes time. Mm-hmm. Time and a lot of time we want to rush things, but but relationships are crock pots. And I love air fries and I love microwaves. That that's fine. Mm-hmm. But the best meals take 
time. My one, my brother in law is a is a is a chef. He's a chef in training, and when he cooks, he takes his time. My mama cooked. They take the time. I was in Dollar Tree yesterday, and and, and I was getting some snacks and stuff. And the lady was uh, 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 got a basket full of stuff. She said, "I'm about to go home and cook for my husband." I never microwave anything. I'm cooking him full meals every day. I'm sixty. We've been married thirty years, and he just as mm. happy as a pig in slop. I said, "Well, you mm. go, girl." You know, yeah. and so it we does. got we we. I, I think really, I think where this is heading is that we need to go back to building relationships 101 because we're failing. People are leaving the church by droves. People are, 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 are planning to be single. They, they don't want to be in a relationship, but we got to get back to the good old-fashioned 101 building relationships and be kind to each other. Yeah, we got to be kind to each other. Quit being so mean. People yeah, are angry and mean for no reason. No reason. And you and, talk about you talk about uh, my home and my house is my castle. I want peace. I fight in the street. I don't yeah. want to come home and fight. Right. 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 Well, see, if, if people want everything instant now. Yeah. They want an instant relationship. They want to freaking be able to meet some lady by texting, blah, blah, blah. And we we heard about this. You send come them a plane field. ticket. They're supposed to come back, fly, in, fly them in, get some booty, and fly them out. And she might not want to get some booty. Bam. Now you want to do something nasty. Now you want to you do know, something. You want, you, now, you don't want to, now you don't want to drop them off. And now, blah, blah, blah. now you want to leave you them stranded. Saying? Now you want to leave them stranded. And, uh, this and is that's something the- that freaking Goldie appreciate. All right? <laughs> it takes five hours to do ribs. If you want mm-hmm. ribs, it takes five hours at a minimum to do ribs. You want a minimum. pork butt, it might Thank take you. you 12 hours. You want a Thank brisket, you. might take you anywhere from 12 to 16 hours. You got to know and how to season it. And the meat just falls apart. Put... It falls apart. Look, it falls apart. Now, there's, di- there's different ways to get there, okay? Uh-huh. You could use a, a, a pellet smoker, crank it up and walk away. You right. could use an offset, but you got t- to tend to that fire and maintain that temperature. You could use a, a drum smoker. You got to make sure you freaking man- manage that temperature, but you can walk away. You can use a hey, Goldie, Weber Hey, Kelly. Goldie. So, so when we get together to play golf, uh, we got an Uber driver and we got a chef. Facts. <laughs> Facts. But, you know, we, we're going to be driven ways. and en- entertained and fed at the same time. Let's go. Oh, y'all going y'all gonna to eat if you're around me now. <laughs> you got what? But, uh, okay, let me say this. Let me say this, guys. Yes. We're up to 11,000 likes. Nice. Let's get to 20. Let's get to 20. Uh, Rory is our hype man. Let's get to 20. We got over, uh, still got over 100 people here. And I hope you're taking notes. I hope you listen to these three men. I'm 56. Oh, yeah. Gold Dig is 50 plus. Uh, Phil is 50 plus. Rory, he's the baby of the group. You got almost 200 years of life experience on this TikTok. Where they do that at? Excuse me, uh, uh, Tamika, for ending a sentence with a preposition. Where they do that at? <laughs> this is groundbreaking. <laughs> this is groundbreaking. This is groundbreaking. We are micro influencers. We don't have a lot of numbers. We don't have a lot of numbers. I'm a micro influencer and I'm getting paid for my influence. Okay. But we're mm-hmm. micro. We're not macro. We're not great yet. Y E T. Excuse my southern wait, draw. On, hold on, hold on. But we're not wait, wait, wait. we're not macro we're, yet. Look, we're great. They just don't know about us yet. We'll get you. Don't know about <laughs> right. They don't know about Let us me yet. throw a golf ball at Phil. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> good on, evening man. again, everybody. If Come we on, have man. not physically said good evening to you, Mark, to Miko, if we haven't physically said good evening, uh, still ghetto preaching, good evening, everybody. We love you. Charge it to my eyes, and the screen is moving so fast. Don't charge it to our heart. We love everybody. We're at the Blue Table Talk for Men. We are here, as Rory so eloquent said a few moments ago, this is our safe place. We can get naked. We don't have our Superman outfit on right now. So you can probably whoop us now because we don't have our Superman suit on. But trust me, Rory has always got our back. That's security. That's the hype man. He's the he's the sex appeal of the group. When we want to get in places free, we just flash his card. We got a Rory card in our pocket. When we want to get access, we flash the card. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, they Rory and the Blue Table Talk. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> Nobody bigger than the group. Nobody bigger than the group. Nobody bigger than the group. 
That's right. That's right. We love each other. We brothers. You hear me? Hey, hey, Goldie, don't don't judge me, Goldie. Please don't judge me. I already got my outfit laid out for Friday, dog. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, if you look good, you play good. That's the way I like to tell folks all the time. And that's with what? anything. If your if your car is you got a fresh wash on your car, armor all on the tires, it seemed like it runs better. You know what I'm saying? You got a full tank of gas, your car seems like it gets a little bit faster. So if you dress well, I mean, look, let's look at the ladies. When the ladies step out, even though they could be stepping out in sweatpants and a jersey, their hair is in a little bun, they'll throw on a little bit of whatever they're going to throw on on their face, and they look like a million bucks. Their confidence never wanes. So if you're going to go out there and do the thing out there on the golf course, look good doing it. <laughs> you got to look good. And ladies, let me tell you something, else, and we, we swerve in just a little bit. We old school. You really want to get our attention don't show too much. We old school. Right. All these young girls, it, it, uh, you know, you want to show a line. You, know, you want to twerk on TikTok. You know, I follow you. But that's it. That, that's not. We, we but see, don't we see show you so with much. mind's eye. We see I, you I with our mind's eye. I got to get this come on, Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. I, ladies, I want to see your curves. I don't need to see your skin. Facts. Facts. Hey, le leggings do it for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you if you can fill out some Ooh. leggings, oh, now listen. I'm a skinny dude. I'm six three, about one one ninety right now. I walk around about one ninety when I compete. I'm about one eighty. Okay, mm. uh, and I'm skinny. I'm slender. I'm sleek. You know what I'm saying? I, I need I need some curves, right? Now don't show me curves, too much. But wear the leggings. If you wear the leggings <laughs> and you got that dump truck, <laughs> oh, oh, I have. Well, look, 36, 24, 39. Best, best, invention, best, in, best invention in the world. Best invention in the world is yoga pants. I'm not yes, even sir. gonna hold anybody. Yes, sir. I'm not even gonna. Uh, see, but I will. I will different. say, yoga pants uh -huh. is not for everybody. That's like spicy yes, food. Thank so you. you. They ought to have a yoga you pants. You may police. love it, but baby, it's just not for you. <laughs> thank and you. Because the they I'll make it in your size. Yoga Back. pants, please. I tell you what gets me. We're well, like back to the cheating. This would make this is the temptation. <laughs> that, <laughs> this is that temptation for sneaky. A freaking straight slender dress that hugs not too much, just above the knees, and a confident mm. walk. Oh my goodness. Mm. The oh, moo moo. And the moo moo. So some dresses too. That's well, my I'll pass on the moo moo. <laughs> the moo moo's that's, that's are the sundress. Listen, the moo moo's are the sundresses of the night. Let me just go ahead and say that for them. For, 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 because you know when you wear a muumu, there is you're free everything underneath. So that is that is muumus. Muumus are the sundresses of the night. Let's get it right, women. We love y'all. We love y'all. Hey, we doing fine, DJ. Listen, y'all hit that screen. We want twenty thousand likes in ten minutes. Twenty thousand likes. Tap that screen, everybody. Give me a hundred likes, everybody. Here we got a hundred and twenty-four people in here. Give me a hundred likes a person. That'll be twelve thousand. That'll take us over uh, twenty thousand. Let's go. So to Let's piggyback off of off of off of uh, off of yeah, uh, off of Goldie, uh, talking about the moo moos as the sundresses of the night, ladies. Okay, so I I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna speak for me. We know it's it, it gets to be sundress season around springtime, right? Oh, that's right. So wearing the sundresses and the sundresses look good on y'all now. They whether you any short, tall, little Maybe. little plus size, the sundresses look good on y'all. It and don't even matter. Dresses now. Listen. Let's take it to the feet. If you're gonna wear the sandals, ladies. Woo! If you're gonna wear now, if you now, don't don't be mad at me. Don't be mad. Just listen, take it, put it down on your nose, not for safe. If you're gonna wear the sandals, okay, make sure the toes are done. Please. And not just the toes, pay attention to the heels. Get the cake mix off the back of the heels. Hey, Thank you. Hey, <laughs> back of your feet can't because look like a construction we, site. Me, no, me, right. me. Men are visual creatures, and that and that leads to something else. Just because you get in a relationship, don't try, don't stop the good stuff. Don't stop with just because you got me now. Don't stop. Keep it going. Keep it going. Let, let's wrap up tonight. Phil, parting right. words. Parting words. Back to cheating. Uh, do you deserve to be forgiven? You get back what you deserve. You right. have to make that woman. Believe and understand that you saying, baby, I won't do it again means you won't do it again. You can't say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and keep doing the same shit. Right. That's it. Come on, Rory. Uh, 
I treat it forgive me. If I'm sincere in my my seeking your forgiveness, I'll show you that I'm sincere about it. Uh, and really, once I've asked for the forgiveness, I've taken it out of, I've taken off of me and put it on to you. Whether you forgive me or not, that's on you. Now. I cheated. I did the wrong. If I'm sincerely apologetic, I'll make the amends to make it right. Amen. Hey, man, love you, man. You looking good. I'm going to call you. We're going to talk tomorrow. Please do. Come on. Come on, Goldie. For me, <clears throat> I, uh, if, you, if you've joined us in these Blue Table Talks, you, knew, I, I, you know I'm an analogy kind of person. I like to give examples through analogies. If you have cheated and you're looking for forgiveness, I want you all to think of it like this. Once that happens and you're looking for forgiveness, do you deserve it? Maybe. Would you want it? Absolutely. You now need to become a verb and show action instead of being a noun trying to take her to places, be another person, and buy her things. Okay? You cannot be a noun at that point. You now have to be a verb. You have to be a person of action. You have to pay attention to what you're doing. You have to remember the words that you have said, and you have to abide by the words that you have said. So once this happens, uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, once That's you right. do that and you are seeking the forgiveness, the ball is no longer in your court. You have up to that day to 20 years of trying to make up for what you've done, depending on who the person you're asking forgiveness from. You all have a great week. Man, you look good in that bonnet, too. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight. Listen, make sure you go to bluetabletalkformen.com. That's our YouTube channel. And uh, you will see some of the other episodes. Uh, Phil is working out the kinks to our simulcast, our podcast. Uh, we're going to have a Blue Table Talk uh, podcast as well. Uh, forgiveness. Okay, I cheated. I messed up. You forgive me? And let me say this. Write this in your notes. When you have been offensive, you lose the right to be defensive. And I love what Goldie just said. You have to become a verb. And, and men, when we mess up, as, 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 as Rory said, he just talks with action. So you say, okay, I won't ever do this again. You might. But... I don't plan on doing this again. Will you please forgive me? Somebody said earlier that God doesn't exist and we don't put no energy in it. This is not a God show per se. But yes, God is real. And, and Rory spoke to his soul. He, he said, man, you're not doing that here. And those gentlemen are going to be moderators and we're going to block people because this is a safe space for men. We don't deal with negative energy. But the whole premise, we almost have 20,000 likes, so I'm going to talk a few more moments. The whole premise of our faith as Christians is that we have been forgiven. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And I said last week, if you're not willing to forgive, you're putting yourself ahead of God. And it doesn't matter if I deserve forgiveness or not. That, that's a play on words. And my, 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 my co-host answered it so well. It's not a matter of deserving it or not. If I love you, if I love you, forgiveness is part of that package. Now, now you, there, there's, a, there's a point of no return, of course. And you're just not going to keep on walking over me, okay? I'm a kind person, okay? But we're going to stop this before it goes anywhere. And that's why I work with my clients on boundaries. If you need help, relationship help, my information is in my bio. Hey, Persephone. Again, good evening, everybody. And thank you. We're over 20,000 likes. TikTok going to know we're here on Wednesday night. You want to follow three great men, Sneaky, Rory, and Yellow Bull. And why did they put on a bunny? I, I, <laughs> I made a comment because on Wednesdays, uh, Yellow Bull does bonnets uh, in his lives on Wednesday. And so I just I just made a comment. And uh, he put his on. Uh, Rory put his on because he's got 
curls and everything going on. I got a bald head. I may get me a bun. I need one for my beard. But I hope you were listening tonight. And we need to talk to each other and not at each other. And we need to get to, to, to fundamental relationship building. And we'll touch on that. Next week, we're going to talk about boring is a good thing. And how dare some people say that Yellow Bull married a robot for real? Because somebody loves me back. Somebody treats me with respect. Somebody makes sure everything is good in the house. Everybody, the bills paid, everything, all that stuff. That's adult stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Took the words right out of my mouth. But we're here every Wednesday night. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. And, and I hope you took a lot of good notes tonight. And remember, hearing is two-dimensional. You listen with your ears, but you hear with your heart. Come on, Miss Carter. You hear with your heart. And when men talk, ladies, don't be so ready. And that's why y'all are not allowed in this room. Love you. That's why y'all are not allowed here. Because you're so busy wanting to get your point across and beat on your chest that I'm Jane. Here, I'm woman. Hear me roar. We're tired of you roaring. And when you roar at a man, you lose him. Put that in your notes. When you roar at a man, you, lo you lose him. And if another woman purrs like a kitten, she's got his attention. I'm, I'm not talking about what I heard. Roar all you want. Thank you, lose it. Thank you, Miss Bales. When you roar at a man, you lose him. Yeah, we need help, y'all. I speak life over my brethren. These are good men. You want to know some good men and where they are? Rory, Phil, and Goldie. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you, Crypto. I'm blessed to know these men. Like Phil said, we are friends and we have never met. That's what I love about social media. TikTok is shrinking the world. Well, the social media, the world is shrinking. And somebody said in the chat, is it too late? No. Uh, Phil has been married, what, 35 years? Goldie, 26 years. Rory had bunches of people that love and care about him. And Dr. Sam, uh, four years plus. So it's not too late. I mean, if you if you look at TikTok and social media and the media, oh, it's too late. Oh, we it's just going to hell in handbasket. It's not too late. As long as we got breath in our body. No, it's not too late. There's hope. You got to change your mind. Oh, I, 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 we got so much to talk about. Next week, we're going to talk about boring is a good thing. Amen. And thank you, Karen. Amen. But y'all follow us. Make sure you go to Blue Table Talk for me. And let's get the, the YouTube channel to 100 people. OK, but but make sure you're following Rory, you follow Phil, you follow Goldie, you follow Dr. Sim. Thank you tonight. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for the, the likes. We're over 22,000 likes. We getting there, y'all. We're good. We're good. Like Phil said, they just don't know it yet. But anyway, oh, man, this is so good. Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Love you. And remember, as I always say, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.